With limited options and time left for Boris Johnson to get a deal done, there's been a lot of talk about reviving the old idea of the Northern Ireland only backstop. But what actually is it? Is Boris for it? And can it secure Brexit by October 31st? First of all, let's get into the nitty gritty of what the dreaded backstop actually is. The backstop was part of the withdrawal agreement negotiated under Theresa May. Essentially, it's an arrangement to keep an open border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland after Brexit. The point being that if there were customs checks along the border between the UK and the EU, then it would be in breach of the Good Friday peace agreement. So the backstop is the EU's idea to solve the issue of custom, but while the backstop would ensure a seamless border, it also means the UK would be tied to the EU for an indefinite period. Which is not exactly what hardline Brexiteers had in mind. Bojo has insisted he wants the Irish backstop out of the withdrawal agreement, so instead one option could be to turn to the old Northern Ireland only backstop idea. The Northern Ireland only idea of a backstop uh, is a variant of it. So uh, the Brexiteers had a big problem with uh, uh, Britain in its entirety being stuck within this uh, EU orbit uh, within the same rules and regulations uh, for, for years on end. So one theory is, well, if we want to keep the border open for Northern Ireland, why is the whole of the United Kingdom going to be stuck with EU rules when actually all we really need is Northern Ireland to be stuck with EU rules? Initially proposed by the EU, it would effectively keep Northern Ireland in the EU customs union and single market. This would leave the rest of the UK, England, Scotland and Wales free to make their own trade deals that aren't bound by EU tariffs. The DUP and other Unionist parties believe that additional checks on just Northern Ireland would threaten the relationship of the Union. However, a recent report in the Times said that the party would abide by some EU rules in a deal that divulges it away from the rest of the UK. That could be the lifeline Boris needs to get a Brexit deal done. But for now, Arlene Foster is publicly saying there's been no softening of the party's stance. One of the most difficult issues has been and remains with checks on food standards. In recent days, Phil Hogan, Ireland's European Commissioner, said Boris Johnson has proposed one of the key parts in the Northern Ireland only backstop, an all Ireland agri food zone, enforcing a single regulatory system north and south of the border for food and agriculture. But crucially, it wouldn't cover tariffs on goods. There's also a theory that Johnson is ready to ditch the DUP. Since the PM's majority collapsed, their 10 confidence and supply votes might be considered as less important than they were for Theresa May. Equally, the DUP could eventually back down, fearing that a no-deal Brexit would increase the growing pressure for a united Ireland. So how is it different from the backstop agreed by the UK and the EU? Theresa May's backstop effectively involves the entirety of the United Kingdom following uh, single market and customs rules. Uh, a island only backstop would only involve uh, Northern Ireland following the same rules as, as the EU. And unlike the backstop in the withdrawal agreement, a Northern Ireland only arrangement would however allow the rest of the UK to make its own trade deals. So will Boris go for it? Well, during a Facebook Live, Boris ruled out a Northern Ireland-only backstop. We will not accept either a Northern Ireland-only backstop. That simply doesn't uh, work for the UK. We've got to come out, hold an entire, and solve the problems of the, uh, of the Northern Irish border. A Northern Ireland-only backstop in its entirety, meaning for, for everything, uh, not just agri-food, but also all the other trade that goes across the border, um, is not possible for Boris Johnson now, and that's why I ruled it out, because, simple reason, uh, he needs the support of those 10 DUP MPs to, to prop up uh, uh, his government. I mean, he has no majority at all. If he was to lose 10 DUP MPs as well, uh, then he'd be in serious trouble. So that's why he's uh, ruled it out. But with the clock ticking down till the 31st of October and no solution in place to the Irish border yet, time is fast running out. <laughs>